so this tutorial is all about how you can use chat gpt over on your whatsapp so i recommend you do not skip the video watch the video till the end otherwise you can miss something very important so let's get started step one download and install python on your computer so for that go to your browser search for python download now go to the first given link by python and then click on download to download python now simply install python on your computer so there are some key elements that i want you to take care of while installing python first make sure to check python test suit and then do also check add python to environment variables and then simply install it Here we go, you can see the python is successfully installed. Step 2. Download the code. So go to your browser and then search for whatsapp gpt github and it's by daniel gross. So go to the first given link by github and download this code as zip. After downloading, simply open the folder and then extract the code. And make sure that you will get all these files along with server.py and main.go. Step 3. Open command prompt and execute the file. Firstly, you have to make sure that the python you have installed is available and you do so by typing python-v. In case if your python isn't available then just uninstall your python and reinstall it. Step 4. Execute server.py Firstly, remember the directory where you have extracted your code. In my case you can see it's in this pc download and then compressed and then in whatsapp gpt main. Now open command prompt and first navigate to the directory where you have extracted the code. Once you are in this directory, now you have to run server.py. So just simply type python server.py and hit enter. Alright, so after running server.py, you will see that there are some missing packages that you need to install and that is flask. Now simply type pip install flask and it will start downloading flask. After downloading flask, now again run server.py. When you do so, you will see that playwright is missing. Now, first type python-m pip install virtual env. And after that, type python -m pip install playwright. Now, here, if you see a new release of pip available, then just simply copy this command and paste and execute it. Alright, so once it will done, now again you have to type python -m pip install playwright. Here, if the package playwright will install successfully on your computer, then it's perfect. If not, then restart your computer. After restarting your computer, now open your command prompt and again go to the directory where you have extracted the code and type the command to install playwright. At this time your playwright will be installed successfully. Now you can run server.py. 
but when you execute server.py it will show you this error so first we need to install browsers just simply type playwright install and it will automatically start downloading all the browsers that are required after that close your command window and reopen it then go to the directory where your code is located and run server.py at this time your server.py will be executed successfully and it will redirect you to the browser but when you click to verify for the human it will not get proceed so we need to change the browser so for that go to the directory where your server.py is located now right click on it and click on edit with ide now change the browser from chromium to firefox and then save it and close it now open cmd and execute server.py here you can see we have successfully logged into chat gpt now simply log in with your account and there you go you have successfully opened chat gpt on your web browser using server.py Now in the next step we are going to install packages that are required to run a second script which is main.go. Remember this script plays a unique role to connect your WhatsApp with ChatGPT. So first of all go to your browser and then proceed with the given link. Now click on download to download go package and then open it and install it after installing go package simply click on finish and make sure to close all the command windows and reopen it now just type go dash version to check either the go package is available or not if not then reinstall the package and check it again now if you execute main.go you will see that uh, there is another package is missing which is the gcc package so we need to install gcc package for that go back to your browser and proceed with the given link now download the gcc package and install it Alright so after this run main.go and at this time main.go will be executed successfully. In the next window execute server.py to check all the servers are working properly. After that go to whatsapp web and connect your whatsapp to whatsapp web. After connecting your WhatsApp to web, main.go will give you a QR code so you need to scan that code. After connecting then from another device message to the first device and it will reply you from your chat GPT. So that's all for today's video guys this is how you can use ChatGPT over on your whatsapp make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching